Fortnite has been out for nearly six years, but every year I buy every skin. The question that we're gonna be answering today is how much is it worth? How much is my Fortnite locker worth? I already know it's worth a lot, but today we're gonna find out just how much. Take a guess in the comments down below. I myself am gonna make the guess that it's gonna be over 20,000 US dollars. I could be under, I could be over. Let's find out in the video together. Now to evaluate the locker, we're gonna assume that every skin is worth these amount of V-Bucks. Yes, I know you can buy some in a battle pass, you can get free skins and they're not worth that. I get it. So we're gonna be estimating the value of the locker with these prices in mind for the rarities. All right, let's jump right into it. And if you wanna see all of the rare skins that we have in our locker, then make sure to stay tuned because I'm going to show you all the rare ones. And we're diving right into the uncommon tier of this locker and we're going straight to the, one of the rarest skins in the game. World Cup Warrior. You can only get this skin if you bought it during the World Cup. Hasn't been in the store since Chapter 1 Season 9. There is so many OG skins in here. Like we got the Vintage Ramirez. I mean, this skin over here, the Whiplash, everyone likes that one. Some of the other weird rare ones are the FNCS skin. I actually don't have the green one and I won't be able to get it because it only comes out for each FNCS. Not a lot of people bought these black and yellow ones, but I really liked it. There's Overstrand skin, you know, like there's a couple classics in here. Like there's so many skins you just don't actually see people wearing in the game. Here. And this is just the uncommon tier. This whole collab, I didn't really understand what we were doing with that one. I mean, Cobra Kai, this is gonna take so long to do the math on. We're gonna breeze through each tier and kind of just highlight the big ones. I mean, this was a big skin for a while, Scarlet Commander. Like it's funny because a lot of the cheapest skins were the ones that trended well. Like a lot of people wore these. There's another FNCS skin. I mean, who can't go wrong with like, you know, the default skins. I mean, these are chapter two defaults, so not as cool. We've got the Ghostbusters. I know the Ghostbusters were quite popular as well. The Cactus. Oh, the Nog Ops. Who can forget the Nog Ops skin? Like there's so many classics in here. Man, IO guards, I really do not like them. I can't believe I even bought them. And people are wondering why I bought every skin in the game. It's because I was, you know, filming a lot of content for Fortnite at the time. And if I didn't have a skin, I couldn't film that content. Because Back in the day, it used to be a lot of content you could do with skins specifically. Shout out this one, the Ferrari Girl. This one was very common back when it dropped. I don't think it's been back in the store for a while, so it's kind of a rare skin. Another classic, the Maniac skin or the Manic skin. This one's a great one. This skin is kind of funny because I remember at the first Pro-Am, everybody wore this skin because they were thinking it would blend in with the builds the most. Yeah, no, we got the, the OG Jonesy. Can't go wrong there. We got the one that's like the Mario skin, like wannabe. More Ghostbusters, Alley at home. Dude, there's so many of these. Like the FNCS skins. Like again, these are rare ones that you'll never get in the game again. So they're kind of like their own different type of rarity. Garrison. I liked this one when it came out. The referee skins. I don't think I have that referee skin that's like the band referee one. This is a, like probably one of my best FNCS skins. I think this one's sick. I mean, the dummy skins just fire generally. The green rarity has some of the most like iconic skins in the game. Crystal. Like all the sweat skins. Clash. Like all of them in here. This is probably one of the worst FNCS skins they've come out with, but then this probably the best one uh, next to that dummy. Like this one's sick. This one's such a sweat skin. This one's kind of new, the Chaos Explorer. I actually don't mind it. Castaway Jonesy. I actually thought that these box skins were kind of cool, but I don't think a lot of people really liked them. Bracer skin was sick. Bullseye. Like I swear, man, like the green rarity had all the sick ones. This one was sick too, even though it was like about the mechs. <laughs> and then who could forget the classic aura? Like this is is probably one of the most, I think it's the most popular scene in the game. Yeah, I mean, according to Fortnite GG, this is the number one most used all time skin next to Surf Witch, the superhero skin, Focus, superhero skin, and Lara Croft. But that's it. That's going to be all of the green skins, of which we have 225 uncommon skins times 800 V Bucks. That's 180,000 uncommon skins. All right, and moving on to rare skins. Each one of these are 12. 1200 V Bucks a pop. That is like $10, right? Again, we know Battle Pass kind of blows it out a little bit, but some of them are starter packs as well. So it kind of evens out in the end a little bit. I don't know, like Zoe Clash. I think this one's a starter pack. Zadi, this one's a classic. Uh, yellow jacket. This one's free. See, there's some of them are, that are free that's going to throw it off a little bit. But like, again, we're just trying to like get it as close to as possible because it's going to be nearly.
literally impossible to get all of these skins in. Waypoint, this one's a great skin. I've also put the graphics on the highest settings so you guys can see them. There's some skins that just like you'll never see. Like I've never seen that skin in the game. I actually really like this one, the twisty one. It's like Thanos at home. I actually really like that one. I wore it like quite a bit. Got some more classic skins coming up here. Triple threat. Uh, I believe this one is like a PlayStation exclusive. So you have to be like PlayStation for that. Too many skins to really even like go over. Even just collabs alone like Wu-Tang. We got the mummy. That's right. The mummy was here. This one was also free in a tournament. The Dark Tycoon. The Apple skin. Hey, still can't play on an Apple yet. We're going to be in 2023. This one's noteworthy. Surf Witch. This one's second most played skin in the game. Also, this one's just cool, I think. The female one's probably cooler, but there's so many like cool skins that nobody wears. And it's probably because there's like almost 1600 and it's like kind of hard to pick from. Um, now we're going to get to these at the end of the video, all the exclusives and the rare ones. We're going to be tallying them up because these don't cost V-Bucks. These cost real life purchases. Like this one cost a graphics card. Graphics cards aren't cheap. So we're going to do that after this section as well. But yeah, you know, we got all of our skins. Shout out Clicks. He's in the uh, store right now for a bundle uh, with the spark plug skin. This one used to be rare, but it just came out in the store. So it's not that rare. Shout out Denny getting his skin in the game. Sledge, I think it was rare, but it, it came back recently. It used to be like really rare. This one's obviously free. This one is like one of the worst skins in the game, in my opinion. I don't know, it just looks so freaky. This one, this one's sick. I think that one's underrated. That one's such a sick skin. We got the Worthy skin. Counting this is gonna be just... I'm really not looking forward to it. Speaking of rare skins, we got the Renegade Raider. Now, unlike the Aerial Assault Trooper, I did end up buying this skin uh, back in the day. I think I even have it recorded somewhere. But yeah, we bought the Renegade Raider skin. You had to unlock a season level to be able to buy it. And at the time, I thought it was one of the worst skins in the game. It's actually a video of me saying this skin sucks. And I think it does suck. It's just rare, and that's what makes it cool. And then we have, like, Renegade Raider at home if you're, like, broke. Um, this one used to be the iconic skin, but then it, like, changed. It didn't really, really happen there. Shout out Fresh. We got the OG fresh skin. Where is he? I don't know. Bunch of other skins. This was like from, yeah, what was it? Battle Breakers. There's so many skins here. This one, like Pit Stop, that's Luda's skin. This one's kind of very sweaty. I actually like it though. It's pretty sick. This one's actually kind of cool. Payback. I always liked this one. Then we have the Caterpillar as well, which now has a black style. We got the Party Trooper with the J Balvin style. That was, that was a nice one. Uh, we got the Monkey. We just got too many skins to even decide what to wear. It's, I don't know, like you tell me which ones you would like to play with. With. It's kind of cool when you're streaming, you let like stream pick a skin. I like this one's called Lockbot. I think this guy invented V-Bucks in the game somewhere. I mean, he's like kind of important for something. Uh, we got Fresh's like skin, uh, kind of. That was his bundle. They got the, the Zone Wars skin. That was a cool like kind of thing they did a ways ago. I've never seen anyone wear the gummy fish stick. There's so, dude, I could go on forever about the skins you don't see in the game. This one came out instead of the elf skin back in the day, and that one pissed me off because it's got the same structure as the elf, just a different thing and like like getting gnomed was a meme back then. Oh, speaking of which, where's the cow catcher? So he needs to come back in the game. This skin's actually hard as. This is like the Balenciaga one. This one's actually sick. Uh, we got the gingerbread renegade. If you're broke. Frankenstein. Yep, that's right. There's Frankenstein in the game. That's the thing. The ironic thing about this whole video is that I've spent all this money and I only ever wear one skin. Yeah, I know. It's massive flex. Flutter, we got the butterfly. I think this is a high key slept on skin. I think it's one of the best ones in the game. Quite literally never seen anyone wear this. What else we got here? This baseball one. One's kind of nice. We got the facet one. This one was kind of cool. This is Alex skin back in the day. Uh, who could forget Dynamo? I mean, this is the one that's in the battle pass right now, like remix, because that's kind of how we, you know, Fortnite do it. If a skin was like really popular, they'll like reiterate it so they can sell it again. Hey, I ain't gonna hate game the game. Like I actually respect it. Dummy, this one's a classic. You know when like the patch notes come out and you see the skin come out and you're like, wow, that's the sickest skin. That I remember that was one of them. This was like a cool moment too when they added diamond hands. This is a very rare skin, Demi Gorgon. It's the strange. Stranger Things collab. This and the the cop popper or whatever the guy's name is. I always liked this one because I had a bolt on it. Let's see here. Cozy Shark. This one's another one of my favorites. I always liked the skin. I absolutely crushed it with the design on this one. This is a skin I've never worn and never seen. Who could forget Codename Elf? Classic. And this skin as well. I still haven't changed this skin since the time I did my 30 bomb on it. And I remember that video, grinding for that video all weekend and getting that done. If you know, you know. That was like one of the most emotional Fortnite videos I've ever done. Because you got to understand back in the day, I wasn't good. I would just keep trying until I won. 
and I tried a lot. Uh, but yeah, we got some other classics. This one's another PlayStation one, so it's like, this is kind of expensive because you gotta spend 50 bucks to be a PlayStation Plus and then download it for free, so it's like, it's free but it's not free. Yeah, another just Unreal Classic skin. This one's in Avengers, guys. I mean, it's probably been the most common item shop skin, I think, or probably Aura has at this point, but I like the Bubble Bomber, but I would put the shades on. Personally, I don't know. I think the shades look cooler. This skin's in the map right now. It's sick. Blue Team Leader. This one's OG. I don't think you can get it anymore, uh, but you had to be like PlayStation Plus as well. This is just a weird skin, Biz. Uh, I don't know. It's just a weird one. I think for a while, this was a very rare skin in the game. No one ever wore it, and I can kind of see why. I just but no, no one ever wore it. That looks like the end of this section. Airhead. This one got delayed for a long time in the game. Let's count them up. 452 times 1,200 V-Bucks on average. That's half a million V-Bucks. So now we got Epic skins, which are worth 1,500 V-Bucks each. We got a lot of random collabs in here, like the alien skin and whatnot. Look, you got your starter packs in here as well, like your wingman one. You can't get these anymore, I don't think. There was that one starter pack skin that came out and they were able to get it back in. Oh, I forgot about crew packs as well and how they factor in. But yeah, there's a lot of crews that are purple. If you didn't get the message by now, we spent a lot of money on, 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 on the Fortnite. We spent a car on the Fortnite. <laughs> That's such a mom. I don't know, I've seen all these TikToks of like, me, if I could refund my Fortnite skins or something, it's just like, you rich as hell. And like, I get it, dog, I get it. And like, you know, I'm including Battle Pass skins. I bought like 24 Battle Passes. So that's a lot of skins that I'm like, technically counting is paid for. So I think it'll be over. I probably like maybe minus 10% on the end of this. You got your Sparkle Supreme. Of course, your Sparkle Specialist. This was a really cool skin as well. The Southport uses like arms like because she's tied up. I thought it was a really cool design skin. Yeah, we got Spy Catcher one. I mean, there's like so many sick skins. Not you. This one's the worst tier 100 that has ever happened. This one's actually kind of rare. The OG John Wick skins or like the non-OG ones from the movie. But like, she's really rare. Skull Trooper. And yes, we do have that rare version. We got that purple, you know, we do be buying that skin. I think this skin is high key slept on, by the way. Smoke Dragon. I think it's epic. Skeleton Oro. I've never seen that in the game. The shamans are sick though. We got the Shadow Midas. We got the Shady Zady. So many cool ones in here. The plague ones, I think these ended up coming back in the item store. I know they didn't come back for a while because of COVID. They didn't want to like, you know, bring it back for that for some reason. Royale Bomber. This one, uh, we're going to calculate later, but he cost me a lot of money. I had to buy a PlayStation for him. We got the Rogue Agent. This one is the one that they, the starter pack that they accidentally brought back, but now you can't get it again. It's still like very rare. We got Rick Sanchez. Can't go wrong with him. A couple of the skins from this season. I'm just never rocking that skin, I don't think. I don't know. I don't really like the anime styles. This skin as well, I don't like this one. Like, ah, there's a lot of skins. I'm just like, man, why we buy that? <laughs> like, not this one though. This one's actually sick. This one's valid. Hella valid. I think these were like based off the Travis Scott event. They were kind of cool. Yeah, we got some skins in here. Dune movie. A lot of movie skins in the epic tier, like Optimus Primal, which is another skin that I uh, probably could have gone without. The, uh, yeah, we got the, the Naruto skins. I think it's like one of the most successful or is the most successful collab. This was one of the coolest skins, the Omega Knight. That was actually sick. I actually rate that highly. You know, we got all the anime skins in the game. This one's a cool Shaman one as well. Neo Versa, that one we had to spend some money on, so that one's not free. This skin, yeah, if you know, you know. Anyway, we got Minty Bomber. I mean, this is a kind of cool style, Minty Bomber. Will Smith, probably this one's rare. Probably will never come back in the item store. Same as Travis Scott. It's never gonna come out. So this one's actually a rare skin. I'm not gonna lie, the whole Attack on Titan collab, bit underwhelming. I think they really needed to work with some colors there because it didn't really land as much as I think everyone wanted it to. Gingy, we love Gingy. OG Gingy skin. This was like my first Fortnite skin that I got in the game. I remember reading the patch notes being like, yeah, I got my own skin. She has Epic. And then there was another one. And then there was another one. And then I actually got my skin. So cool, spoiler alert. This one's always cool. Lace, nah, Lace is such a vibe. Kuno, shout out my boy Alex. Uh, this is his skin. Great choice, I think. Personally, we got the kit and of course we've got kit bash, but you probably don't remember it like that You probably remember it like that me personally I remember this skin, you know saying the f-word if you remember you remember this was a weird one This was like a collab with like a book. I think but yeah, you don't really see people wearing it Can't forget our boy from my hair academia and yeah, just a bunch of weird ones of course Iconic and uh, you guys probably know this as Elliot skin, but yeah a skin you had to pay a phone for don't worry We're gonna do the math on this one later got the hot wire skin I think this is like the best skin with the back bling I like this one a lot. Remember this was like the OG ninja skin because he was like toxic. I remember that was a whole meme. You know 
know, we got a few skins here. Goku Black. We don't like Goku. I mean, Goku Black's not like the nicest guy. In fact, he literally killed Goku's entire family. But you know what is cool? Little Ginger Gunner. Can't go wrong. Some of the greatest OG Fortnite memories of this skin. Ah, oh, take me back. Take me back to the sky base. Just, ah. Oh. Now, if you're wondering if I had the Gold Trooper edit style, I don't. Um, I didn't buy the skin back in the day. I'm a fraud, but I'm not full fraud because I got the galaxy skin. Boys, I got the galaxy skin. It's like $1,000. Don't worry, we'll do the math later. The old surgeon, I remember like the twins wearing this skin, except the other style. Far right, man, shout out my boy Rifty. I remember him rocking this one. Elite agent. Yeah, this one's, that one's actually such a sick skin. Got Levi, a bunch of the other guys. I mean, yeah, this is the movie Lannan was in. So I mean, shout out my boy Lannan, you know. Uh, Double Helix, we're gonna talk about him later, but yeah, he's obviously up there. There. And then we just got a lot of skins. So many skins. This one's actually cool. Corrupted Voyager. I actually kind of rate that one. Does anyone know one rock this one? Corrupted Arachne? I mean, probably not with the full corruption, but like, I think that's kind of a cool skin. These, the, the agents, the chaos agents, they're always like sick. I remember when this one came out, Burnout. That was a vibe. And this one as well, Candyman. Dude, this one was sick. Oh, this one's taking me back this whole era here. We got the thick boy Bun Bun. <laughs> Man, Fortnite be cooking. This one, I remember I like did a video called him Frozone because he looks like Frozone. Beerus, like it just keeps going. I can't wait to do the math on these ones. I mean, this was the biggest scam. The whole like skier skins, like they were such a scam because you had to buy each one individually. Modern day, they would all be a style in one skin. But back in the day, we'd do a little scam in here and you go buy them all. So we buy them all. Loki, one of my favorite battle pass skins. Yeah, that's going to be all of the epic skins. Oh, wait, who could forget? Golden Peely. We didn't quite get. There. Oh, and I have to count up all the skins. Ah! Two, eight, 32, 74, 170, 200, 242, 302, 462, 550. Minus the eight collab skins that we have in this tier. 542 times 1500, 813. Okay, that's almost a million V-Bucks. Alrighty, legendary skins. These things are 2,000 V-Bucks each a pop. Let's blast through them. I mean, there is some very good memories here. I mean, this one's, yeah, Boomer skin. We got Vegeta, OG John Wick. Are you kidding me, guys? Come on, the scientist, sorry, the visitor. OG as it gets. Now, a lot of them are battle pass skins, so it does skew the math a little bit, but you know, some of them you have to buy, like Goku. I mean, but who's not? buying Goku. This one you had to buy Save the World for, and this one is a skin that not many people unlocked because you had to unlock Fort Bites, and Fort Bites was such a pain, but this skin is so fire, so you should have got your Fort Bites. Also, this one's low-key one of my favorite skins because it reminds me of Gundam. Red Knight, that was a whole vibe. T-Rex, I remember when this skin came out. It was such a vibe. This one was like such a sick skin. I liked that one. Oppressor, it was all right. Oh, who could forget Omega? And yes, don't even ask me if you don't already know, we got the lights. All right, we are valid, okay? We grinded hard for it, all right? Yeah, this is one of the cooler crew packs they had. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's John Wick. So this one's rare as well. The John Wick skin that you had to buy it hasn't come back since, so it probably won't. I thought it would come back for the last movie, but it didn't. And then this is probably one of the most common ones because everyone got the battle pass for free. This one's a Twitch Prime skin. You had to have Twitch Prime to have it. Bunch of other ones. Oh, this was one of the golden days when this skin came out. Chapter two, season three. Another rare skin, my boy Drift. You guys don't remember? I did a cosplay of my boy Drift ages ago. Used to rock him all the time. And then it was Kurt and Elf. Man, we had a good, we had a bunch of good memories. It's just like memory lane going through this locker, man. Dark Voyager, I remember seeing this guy cross the map, most pay to lose skin you could have. Got Carbide with the lights, of course. You got Mega, you got him too. I remember recording a shark video with Lannan doing the chomps. Uh, we got Black Knight. Not much else to really say. It's Black Knight. You either have it or you don't. And then I remember this robot dude. I thought this would be the actual bot skin they would use, but they went for a different bot skin. That's all the legendary skins though. 6, 12, 48, 136. Minus 6 collab skins. So 130 at 2,000 V-Bucks each is gonna be 260K. Uh, I'm quite confident that all these collab skins coming up are 1,500 a pop, so we're gonna probably bang them out as we go. Jumping in with Star Wars, like some of these were battle pass as well, but yeah, this is the first Star Wars collab that came out. I mean, the Stormtroopers were kind of sick. Where's like the OG one? There it is. OG Clone Trooper came out. Wait, this one's not the OG one. Imperial Stormtrooper. I mean, like, yeah, you know, it's like, it's been a good little subset. You got Han Solo here as well. You got Anakin 
Anakin, you got Luke, you got the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian season, by the way, was actually kind of sick. I actually liked it. I, like, they, got, they got everything, right, in here? Like, they, they got all the Star Wars. I, I don't know enough Star Wars to know something they're missing. 6, 12, 18, 24. Only 36k on the Star Wars. I'm gonna combine Slurp in this uh, Shadow series because only very small sets. These three specifically hold a close place in my heart because I got them early and got to give away as prizes for my fashion show back in the day. But yeah, these were weird. Your, your like head would explode. Technically pay to lose because they would tell you how much shield you have. If you had full shield, your head would uh, transform differently. So and then we got the Shadow series as well. I think this one, yeah, the Monarch one was like one of those level up ones. It was kind of, that was sick to be honest. Uh, I think Shadow Ruby was free and the Scully was just cool. I think maybe been free as well. Really not too much there. Big boy Marvel. I have every Marvel skin in the game. Yes, I know. I think I'm cool like that. Like little Pokemons, you know? We, we got we got them all. We got all the different Spider-Mans. There's like five or six of those. This is the only cool one, to be honest. The fact that like this is the coolest skin in all of Fortnite because it is also every skin in Fortnite. Like even the ones that aren't even out. If you didn't buy this battle pass, hold this L. Yeah, you know, it's 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 Marvel. You know what I mean? They've got are they Missing anyone from Marvel? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, they got everyone, right? So, oh, Bright Star. This one's cool. I actually like Bright Star. This one's the rarest one. Hasn't come back. Don't know why. I think it's because they came out with another one that was more relevant for the movie that came out. It's actually technically the rarest item shop skin in the game. Hasn't been out since season eight. Uh, how much did we spend on the Marvel? Two, eight, 26. 32. 60. 60 times 1500. 90 Uh, And then we got the Lava series. It's just like remix skins. We we all know which ones are cool. It's Renegade Raider. You know what I mean? It's, it's cool. Then they redid Rust Lord as well. <laughs> they called him Rose Lord. That's so funny. I'm gonna add Fire, Ice, and Dark. So there's these guys, these guys, which, you know, there's a few standouts here. Frozen Love Ranger, Reboot. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Skins you need for memes. This one, you could be an Ice Zombie. You could sit on top of Reboot Vans. This skin is high in value. I would buy this skin if you haven't already. Next up, we got, I remember like, I think it was Taysom used to rock this skin. A lot of the ice skins actually go hard. Frozen Nogops goes hard. I mean, this is winter skin. Frozen Crystal goes hard. Like, you got Frozen Midas. Like, you actually got a lot of options here with this one. Fun fact, I believe these three skins were the first uh, Frozen pack that ever came out. Frozen Raven, Frozen Love Ranger, and Frozen Red Knight. I believe they came out because those actual skins back in the day were like the three most popular skins. And then we got the Dark series as well. I mean, this skin's a classic. I remember Luda used to rock this. I remember playing on Japan servers uh, on a Nintendo Switch to un try and unlock these two early. But yeah, these ones are kind of cool. I mean, Dark Bomber goes the hardest for sure. All right, so what we got here? We got four plus five, 12, 18, 24. The Icon Skins. Ooh-wee. Here we go. Now, each one of these, I believe, is 1500 I could be wrong, but I believe they are that price. All I know is that for some reason, my pickaxe is more expensive than everyone's Icon's pickaxe. Look it up. My pickaxe cost 1200 and everyone else's cost 800 I think they're all 1500 So, yeah, we got all the Icon Skins here. We got, like, the, the Gref. Uh, yeah, so these all got released for, like, like what, what was it? It was Fortnite Football Club. Interesting. And they somehow got LeBron onto it. Got LeBron, we got Travis Scott. His album's coming out soon. People think his skin's gonna come back. I don't think it is. Kid Leroy, shout out Kid Leroy. Of course, you guys didn't know when his icon skin came out. You got to play with uh, the other Australian icons, myself, Lana, and Lufu. Really dope dude. Uh, but yeah, you know, we got, we got the whole cast. We got Cypher, we got Ariana Grande, we got Patrick Holmes, Ninja, Mr. Beast, Marshmallow, who's this guy? Booger, Chica, Allie. Yeah, there's some fire in here. Yeah, obviously this one as well, Astro Jack. That one's not coming back. All right, so how much we got on icons here? We got five. 23. 41 icons times 1500 equals 61 KV bucks. We've got our gaming series. So apparently these are 1200. See, it's so hard to do the math on this because the one that's in the store right now, he or the Nord Warrior, he's actually 1200 V bucks, but the Kami skin is 1600 V bucks and Master Chief is 1500. So it's like hard to do the math on. So we're just going to say 1500 for all of them, but we'll go through the good ones. Obviously, I got the Master Chief with the, the black uh, suit armor. Uh, Kami, just. One of my favorites, like, I don't know. I just think it's the coolest, coolest Street Fighter character. Um, like, Chun-Li Chun cool. Chun-Li cool. It's all about Cammy, let's be honest. Like, blue eyes, blonde hair, like, 
it's, it's over. It's over. You know, we got the we got the skins. There's a couple things in here. Borderlands one. I think you can still technically get this if you buy Borderlands. Don't quote me on that. I actually don't know. Shout out Ryu, the only skin that's in this and in Smash Bros. Uh, Lara Croft, one of the most popular skins in the game as well. It's always awesome when we get new gaming legends in the game. I think it's just so cool to have six, 12, 18, 24, 30. 31. Okay. And last but not least, we got DC. Um, cool skins. You know, we got Black Adam. Uh, Superman. I remember I won this in a tournament. Flash. And he kind of like copied my back playing a pickaxe. It's okay. I think he had a first. And then Catwoman Zero. I remember everyone using a pickaxe for Zero Delay. It's actually a sick skin, to be honest. This skin scared the crap out of me. And then, yeah, I don't think we have all the Teen Titans left. That's something I know we're missing. We've only got like, what, one, two... We got Beast Boy as well. Cyborg looking dude, we need him. And Robin, where's Robin? No Robin, how have we not got Robin? What are we doing? We don't even have Robin. But yeah, that's uh, that's DC to wrap us up. That's one, seven, 13, 19, plus five is 24, which there we go. That's just the skins, the emotes. We're only gonna do for the ones. Oh, I just don't wanna count this. Oh, I don't wanna do the gliders. Oh, I wanna quit this video. All right, here's the deal. There's emotes and I have a lot of them. 646, these are the prices that you can buy emotes. Let's just make it easy. The biggest one is probably rare emotes. 646 times 500. Ooh, that's chonka. All right, my rare emotes right now. We got fresh, just like the real fresh. You're never gonna see it again. <laughs> Um, then we got Windows, Windows, oh my god, I'm losing it. Widow's Perrette, yep, obviously like Widow skin, you're not gonna see it. The uh, the weird one though is this one. This one's, oh, because it's part of the job. Everything that's not out is not out because it's like with the collab. That's John Wick. The other one that's not coming out is this one, which is also John Wick. This one's sick though, I actually think that one's lit. Oh, this one's actually rare. Everyone knows this is my favorite emote. This one hasn't been out for 761 days. It's one of the sickest emotes in the game. I don't, I don't know if this is copyrighted somewhere, but this hasn't been out for 700 days. Kinda goes hard. Might have to equip this one, you know? Now looking through all my emotes, the majority of them are rare. I do have some epic, but I do have some on common. So I'm just gonna say they're all rare just to make it easy. And that is 323K on emotes. So pickaxes are really weird. It doesn't, like, it doesn't really make sense. Like my pickaxe is 1200 V-Bucks, but Lannan's pickaxe is 800 v box and his has two style so you tell me like how they do this apparently mine has like cool effects and and it does have a little cool little thing i i mean i ain't gonna lie it's pretty cool but you know what would be cooler if like i could have each of those as an individual single harvesting tool now we're worth the v box fortnite but seriously though i really wish i had a single wield i, I hate dual wield i don't know i hate it hate is a strong word but i prefer to not have it um you know it's also hard to say with bundles as well but yeah we're gonna guesstimate here, let's see. Uncommons are 500, rares are 800, epics are 1500, and some of the epic ones go for 1800. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't have the rarest pickaxe in the game because in order to have that, you have to win FNCS. But I have the next rarest one, which is the Raider's Revenge. This is when I bought it uh, with the Renegade Raider. This is like, I'm gonna equip it. It's like, it's it's a flex to have this pickaxe. Um, but then the item shop one, same. It's like Widow's Bite, this one specifically. That one is like, yeah, what are we, 1500? days for this hasn't been out this one is weird it actually is kind of cool it's got drills on it um but this one's been out for 1500 as well it's actually kind of cool too brute force on this one 1400 days man i ain't never seen these pickaxes this one's kind of sick this one's 1400 days chained cleaver this one's 1400 as well this is the travis scott skin the diamond jack this one's actually sick and yeah this one hasn't been out for 1200 days as well 1250 days as well on scully splitter this one's sick as well there's a a lot of like rare pickaxes that have never come back. But yeah, we have 968 total pickaxes. Let's do guesstimates here. Few uncommons up to like here. And then the rest are rares. Oh, there's a lot more rares than anything else. And then we're going epics to legendaries above or yeah, different ones. Yeah, we're dealing with about a third that are epic and about another third that are rare. So I'd say a low ball here would be a thousand V bucks per pickaxe. I think that's a low ball. So 968, that is gonna be a chonker. That's a lot of damage on the pickaxe. Nearly a million on the pickaxes. Okay, so the thing with gliders is that all the rare ones kind of suck. The rarest one is aerial assault, which 
I don't have. Then there's the Mako glider. This is my technical rarest one. I think this is like hella crazy OG. But then after that, it's Roadhog, Warthog, and look, all you need to know is that the coolest, rarest one is this one. And it's not even that rare. It's just 847 days. The rest of them are just those crappy gliders. They, they don't even, they're not, they're not epic. You see someone pull up like that, you know it's dead. It's standing glider or it, dude, no one cares. These are the different price ranges for gliders. Look, we're gonna do some guesstimation here. Uncommon gliders to there, rare gliders to there. But it's just gonna know this glider is 2,000 V-Bucks. This is $20. I'm gonna have to put it on unironically just to run it back, you know? Oh yeah, and the, who could forget the laser shark? They were going off back in the day, I swear. And they came up with stuff like this. I, I, I like the idea in principle, but I don't think it worked as well. Oh, and this is the Afterburner song. Never forget, never forget. All right, guess the Mason math. We're doing 480, we're doing another thousand each. I reckon, yeah, I'm gonna round it to 500K, to be honest. Contrails and wraps, oh, do I even care about wraps? Yeah, I'm well, just gonna say that they're 400 each. Apparently this one is like rare. Blue metallic. Oh, it actually looks kind of cool, to be honest. This one. This one's my favorite. This is the one they gave you if you used someone's code for the Share the Love event for Supporter Creator. Thank you, everybody out there who uses code Lucky. Let's wrap it up with the wraps. So we're going to say they're 400 a piece here on average. 563 times 400 equals 225. Whoa. I do buy all the wraps, to be fair. All right, let's try and do some quick math here for each one that I paid. This is what I paid for. So some of you can get the controller bundles, but I didn't. So Double Vortex, I think he's the most expensive one right now, but I paid like, yeah, I'm going to do US prices, 300, 350, probably 325 between the two of them. That one was like 30 bucks, it was chill. That one was like 800 bucks for a phone. That one was another Xbox. That one was a Switch. That one was another phone. That one was a phone, but the phone wasn't expensive. I want to say 300. That phone was expensive. Iconic, that was like, yeah, 850, 900. Another PlayStation, we'll go 300. Another PlayStation, we'll go 300. Another phone, we'll go 250. Graphics card, I think I got a new one, so it was kind of free, but because I needed it, but like, we're 560. That's dollars on exclusives alone. Dog, oh, that is so much money. On screen for each of these is how much I paid for each of them in US dollars. I know some of them you can get the control controllers for like the Royale Bomber, but I bought the PlayStation to get it first. I think I'm gonna go over 20 grand, but let's do the math. According to my math, I've spent four million V-Bucks. That's how much I've spent. If every V-Buck is worth one cent and we divide a hundred here, that's $41,000 in skins, plus the 5,600. Hey, yo, wait, no, did we do the math right? I think I did the math right. Hey, yo, wait, yo, how much does a Tesla cost? Model 3, currently the rear wheel drive trim of the Tesla Model 3 start at an MSRP of 4024. Obviously for me, I'm a bit lucky because this is technically a business expense uh, as I do create content with the skin. So we're lucky in that regard. Thank you Fortnite for all the memories. Look forward to getting up to 100K one day on this. Just keep giving me some more skins. I'll keep buying. But let's maybe give me an edit style for the pickaxe one day. That'd be epic. That's a lot of damage.